All right, what is going on, guys? I am outer space. We are about to go to the freaking moon, and I'm going to show you some chart setups today that's going to tell you exactly what I'm looking for with crypto and with a couple stocks. So if you're here for it, drop a like. I would truly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet, and I hope you're having a great October 2nd. I can't believe it's already October. Every year seems to be flying by. Maybe that's what happens, though, when you're past 31 years old and you have two young kids. Some days seem slow, but over the whole year, it seems like it's flying by. It's absolutely crazy. So crypto is experiencing a pullback the last 24 to 48 hours. Um, a lot of stocks are also, but I want to first look at Dogecoin. We're going to talk about Jasmine as well today. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all just my own opinion. But with Dogecoin right now, guys, it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. Right now we're pulling back and we're holding this support. If we break this white line right here, then I would assume that the stochastic will also curl over and we will head down again. You can see this is a weekly time frame. Last time Dogecoin did the exact same thing. It got above the 21 EMA and then big red candle the next week. Big red candle so far this week. Now it's only Wednesday. I believe today's Wednesday. So we have a lot of days left to really see what happens next. But right now, this is not a good start. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks Dogecoin took to bottom. Now, I don't think that will happen again this time. But if for whatever reason, if we do break this, guys, then I would expect us to hold this blue line next. And this is anywhere ranging from about eight and a half cents to nine cents. Okay. So this is just what it's looking like right now for Dogecoin. Um, this is not, you know, my opinion completely of what I think could happen. I don't necessarily believe that we're going to come down here, but this is just something you need to watch for this trend line right here. If we break and if we start getting some daily candle closes below this, you know, below the 10 cent range, then we could potentially come down again. Like we did here, we wicked, right? And then we went much higher. Now, this is all short-term pain. Um, this is all noise. This does not affect how I feel about Dogecoin in the long run. I still think Dogecoin will eventually bottom. You can even see we're kind of bottoming right here where these were the lower lows, but then we started making higher lows right here. See this downtrend where my mouse is, and now we are in an uptrend. So this is all normal, this pullback. I would love for this week to close above this trend line. And I would love to even get some momentum back up and wick, because if we get a long wick, that means buyers are stepping in and it's time to rally much higher. So drop a like guys, if you've learned anything just now, and I appreciate you of course, for being here. That is really my analysis on Dogecoin. Now let's look at Ethereum because Ethereum is also very important. And you need to understand this. Um, this was one thing that I shared with X, by the way, follow me on X. The link is down below. It's at business now with three S's positive divergence. So when the asset makes a lower low, like it did here for Ethereum back in the day, when it bottomed September, 2024, well, September six, actually right here, lower low and the RSI made a higher low, which you can see right here. I made it very clear for you guys. This is very bullish. And it's time to buy some of your favorite cryptos when you see setups like this. Okay. Now we're over here and Ethereum is just crashing down, but we are wicking right here. So we have held these candles so far. Let's see what happens over the next four hours. If we get a candle closed below, let me see real quick below. I would even say two, four, four, eight. If we close a candle below that, and that's where we're at right now, then I think we could have more downside. Okay. Another thing I'd be looking for for Ethereum is the RSI on a four hour time frame. Right now we're trading at 28, which is very oversold, but we know the four hour can go much lower. Okay. I mean, right here, it got as low as 10 to 11, right? This would have been a buying opportunity. Like when you see a lot of selling pressure and the RSI just completely crashes, great times to buy. Right, right here, great times to buy, in my opinion. Okay, because you can catch these little runs for the next several weeks. Right now, though, where are we at for Ethereum? And this has to do a lot with Jasmine, too, and we'll talk about that next. Right now, we're at 29. So if we see a drastic fall, I'm buying. 
I'm buying Ethereum. I'm buying some of my favorite cryptos because I already know what's going to happen next. Now, if we just trend like this, let's say we're just chopping around and we test the 21 EMA. I mean, guys, this was August 28th all the way to September 6th. So it's not a whole lot of time. It's a couple of days. It's about, what is that? Like a week and a half, a week and a half for us to create positive divergence. Now we can do the same and I would actually be okay with that. If we start to trend lower, if the asset moves lower over the next week, let's say today till Sunday, and we start creating positive divergence where the RSI is making higher lows, then I'm buying also. I'm gonna be buying if I see this setup, I'm gonna be buying if we have a drastic fall down under like 15 for Ethereum, um, because even here, or really under 20 right here, that, that definitely could happen, but still I think it would be a buying opportunity if you're thinking weeks to months out. Hopefully that makes sense. So now let's look at Jasmine. And then we'll wrap up this video. All right, let's see. Jasmine on Coinbase. So Jasmine is looking like Dogecoin also. Okay. So you can see that we are just holding this support right here. Let me make this bigger. Okay. So we're just holding support. We have one touch point and this is the second one. So far, it's a wick. I do not want to close the weekly candle below this trend line. Okay. I want to continue to make higher lows and I want to continue to make higher highs. Like we see these two points right here. Great sign, right? Where my mouse is. This was at 244. This was at 257. Higher high, higher lows. So far, the structure is good. But again, just like Dogecoin, we closed one week green above the 21 EMA and then a huge red candle down. So my question to all of you, and please leave a comment down below with your thoughts on it is do you think this is a huge fake out because of what's going on with Israel and Iran right now? Do you think we're getting this big red candles all across the board because we're about to rally much higher? Well, this week will tell us a lot. I know it's like a broken record. This week will tell us a story. Next week will tell us a story. The monthly time frame will tell us a story. But this is just the facts. This is reality, guys. We have to wait and see where this candle closes this week because this was a positive sign that we had this uptrend for Jasmine. But now we're coming back down and we're under the 21 EMA again. So our last hope is really this trend line and also these trend lines right here. We have support hanging around 1662 and also 1532. So in between a penny and a half to 17 is also the next leg of support. So even if we break here, I would feel more confident that we're going to come back down here again. Okay. If we don't break here and we hold this and the next candle also next week is above this trend line, then I would start to feel really good that it's time to move back up. Okay. So that's really what I'm looking at for Jasmine, Dogecoin and Ethereum right now. Hopefully this, this made sense. Um, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. I appreciate you for being here. Of course, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's just my own opinion and I'm in it with you, right? I'm not selling here. Um, I'm holding, I actually bought more Dogecoin this morning on Robinhood. It's like a serious addiction that I need to stop, but I think it will pay me at the end of the day. So appreciate you all. I hope you have a great one. See you on the next one.